USO volunteers make such a difference in the lives of our troops and their families. From the very beginning, our volunteers are there providing the small touches that make a big difference. My very first experience with the USO was back when I was in basic training in 1986, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Just graduated basic training and then I had to go to my follow-on station in Indianapolis. Well, I get to Indianapolis with no money and didn't really know where to go from the airport. If I could remember, okay, let me find the USO, maybe someone can help me get to the base. You know, I'm a teenager, uh, 19 years old, not knowing what to do. But I got there and they got me situated. I was injured in December of 2010. I got medevac to Longstreet, Germany and everything happened so fast. One minute I was in Afghanistan, the next second I wake up in Germany. Like, what just happened? What I can't remember is when we were all in gurneys, we were about to get on this bus, and the halls were lined up by volunteers, and like we were going home. I can honestly say that the USO volunteers never made me feel alone. I was never alone. And there's nothing worse for a wounded warrior to feel as alone during that time. Moving back into the civilian sector is kind of intimidating and, and downright scary for a lot, of, a lot of soldiers. The experience that the volunteers from the USO bring uh, to these transitioning soldiers is, is paramount for their success. As a business executive retired, I know what they're facing out there and I have some skills and some information that will help them make that transition. When you hear that you've lost your loved one, it's a total shock. The very first family that I volunteered to be with were on an airplane six hours after they found out their child had passed. And just because I was with them for so long and their flight was delayed, we started talking and I think the father picked up on the fact that, you know, my son was gone. I don't know, I just felt very very glad that I was there being the one talking to them. I went to, to the USO, I sat down and I just noticed this volunteer helping a family. And I was just um, really taken with, with the care and the personal attention that that volunteer gave and said, uh, you know, I saw what you did for that family. Um, and I just wanted to say on behalf of the military families, thank you for doing that. Thanks for taking them under your wing. My experience here at the USO has been rewarding, it's been challenging, and it's pushed me to become a better person. I mean, I already thought I was a good person, but when you get to hear and see the stories of these soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen, it makes you more appreciative of what you have and the ability for you to give back to them. We're extremely thankful for our USO volunteers, for the love, energy, and kindness they show to our troops and families. And they're the face of our organization and demonstrate that every day the USO is always by their side. <laughs>